This video app review is brought to you by the iPhoneAppReview.com. What's up, everybody? This is Luke Patrick with the iPhoneAppReview.com. Today we're slinging out yet another video review. This time, take a look at an application that's in our favorite genre on the iPhone as far as games go. And that is the action arcade game, which is, uh, you know, a genre that was really started out by games like uh, Angry Birds and Cut the Rope, etc., etc., although those are sort of more puzzles. Uh, that's been expanded a whole lot since uh, those releases. So we've seen a lot of clones within the genre, but we're happy to announce that today's offering is not in the slightest a clone, but is rather its own unique and original game with a unique concept. The application itself is called Chin Up, or uh, Chin Up, I guess, if you're feeling a little less uh, enthusiastic about it. And this application is currently available for free in the App Store. It won't be free forever, so if you want to grab it, go ahead and get it now. And it's put out by Touch Village, so it's right there. It does come with this nice button here to show you how to play the game, but we're uh, instead going to do that ourselves as far as explaining how it works. We're going to take a quick pop into the settings here very quickly, though. Not too much going on other than sound and music, which you can turn off. So we're going to go ahead and show you how this works. As we mentioned, this game does come with a, a, a an entirely new and original concept, which we love to say because that doesn't happen too often. And it looks something like this. You boot up the game. This is a fresh install, so we haven't been able to accomplish too much. And you select from one of the many different levels that is included here, which of course you can buy these levels or earn them too. So let's go ahead and jump into the first level here. You can buy items from the store if you would like. These items can be purchased for in-game, uh, or excuse me, they can be purchased using real money um, and then uh, add it to your inventory. So there you have that. So let's go ahead and slap the play button and show you how this works. Again, there we go. And play. So the basic premise behind this game is that you play as Mr. Chin, who is a guy, uh, yeah, that's right, Mr. Chin, who is a guy who's on a bamboo platform that's uh, speedily going upwards within a level, so to speak. So, so your your main goal here is to actually just tilt the platform itself from side to side to uh, kind of balance him and also to keep him from running into various objects. So the game itself can be rather hard because you do have to leverage a couple different things. For instance, you have all kinds of items that will collect on your platform, so you're constantly doing this. Uh, likewise, his actual position on the board itself is important, and you have to be aware of the fact that his health, which is measured in soy sauce, is quickly going away, too. So I really want that power up there, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get it. There we go. So as you just saw there, power-ups are an uh, important part of the game, like I just got a replenishing... Uh, hit as far as my uh, soy sauce meter goes. So that's essentially how this works as you go through. Um, you collect power-ups uh, that do various things, they either save you, replenish your health, uh, allow you to score higher, save you from items, etc, etc. Um, and then I got hit by an anvil and I just died. So that's the basic idea, and the higher up that you go, the more stars that you get, which these stars allow you to unlock new levels and continue to play the game. We have to mention that it's actually quite hard to get a lot of stars. Um, as you saw there, I, I didn't do too terribly great. Um, but the level itself is rather massive, and there are several of these, of course. You can buy these or unlock them, all of these various levels. So a whole lot of content to play through, uh, which is very nice. So very much uh, a game that you can easily spend, say, an entire month's worth of commutes with. We're going to go ahead and just play this a little bit more, just to uh, you know, kind of give you some more information about it while we talk. So the game itself, as far as graphics, it looks absolutely fantastic. It's got retina display graphics, so it's just gorgeous and stunning. The animation is spot on, and the physics engine that's at work here works unbelievably well. So no complaints there from us. The controls, too, are rather simplistic. It will take some time to get used to. Obviously, I just failed there. Um, it will take a little while to get used to the controls, and the game can be kind of hard, like we mentioned the fact that the levels are rather huge, so you have to deal with that alone. But then on top of that, you've just got a couple other things involved. Um, that make the game semi-difficult. We liked the variety of items that are included here, though. I'm going to go ahead and show you the power-up there. That's the balloon power-up that allows me to float back into place. The variety of random articles that fall from the sky. It's really cool. Uh, you know, the graphics in the background are rocking, and uh, basically everything about this game is very fluid and very professional-looking. It's obvious that the developers spent a lot of time trying to make this thing look good. So we're going to go ahead and go back to the main menu really quick. So as a free app in the App Store, you know, we have to say this application is a tremendous value. It comes with a ton of content, and the graphics look great. So all in all, uh, you know, in addition to the fact that ChinUp comes with its own unique game mechanic, 
We have to admit, it's quite a nice title, and we wouldn't be surprised to see this in the iTunes new and noteworthy sometime soon. So with that in mind, we are going to give Chin Up a solid 4.5 out of 5 star rating from us here at the iPhone app review.com. We think it's great, and if you're looking for a new app within the genre, this is the one that we would suggest. So that's all we have to say about it, and at this point, I'm going to go ahead and sign out. We'll see you guys later. Bye.